This is second grade Go Math lesson 6.6, .6, and today we are going to do three digit subtraction. So we went from three digit addition, now we're doing subtraction, which is actually probably the hardest skill in second grade. So they start off with word problems here, and it says make a model to solve, then draw a quick picture of your model. Okay, and then obviously we have to solve the question from the model that we are making. So, let's read the question first. It says, on Saturday, 770 people went to the snack shop. On Sunday, 628 people went. How many more people went to the snack shop on Saturday than on Sunday? So, I need to figure out a couple things first before I get started. So, um, I'm just going to draw a little picture of the shop, and I'm going to just write sat, SAT for Saturday, and 770 people went. Then I'm going to draw for Sunday, that 628 people went. I can do this many ways. I'm going to do it a couple different ways for you. Um, but basically, we are comparing numbers here. When it says how many more went to the snack shop on Saturday than on Sunday, we have to figure out the difference between these two numbers. So I want to show you two different ways. Like I've shown you with the addition, um, I'm going to show you with the subtraction by writing the traditional form. And by drawing pictures to help um, represent that this form over here. So I'm going to draw 770. Takes up a little bit more space because we have to draw these um, little squares for 100. So I have 400, 500, and I'm making the larger number, 600 and 700. And I have seven tens. I'm just going to draw it just for space. Um, I'm going to draw them down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven hundred and seventy. Seven hundreds and seven tenths. Now, um, if you look over here, obviously I can't take away eight from zero because I have zero ones here. You see I have no ones. It kind of looks like one, but that's not a one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to regroup from the tens. So I'm going to take one of the tens away. I'm going to take one of the tens away. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put 6 right here. I took one, t 1 away from 7, that's 6. So now, that's going to be broken up to 10 ones. So I have 10 ones here now. And since I'm adding 10 to no other ones, it's going to be 10. 10 plus 0 is still 10. And now I'm going to subtract 8 from that 10 since now I have that there. So I have 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to cross these out, and I have two left. So 10 minus 8 is 2. So I'm going to leave 2 right here. And now I moved on to the 10 since I solved for the 1s. And I have 6 10s, as is shown here and here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm taking away 2 10s. So I'm just going to simply cross out 2 more 10s. And I have one, two, three, four left. Six minus two is four. And then I go to my last column, which is the hundreds, and I'm going to take away six of the hundreds. So one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds. I have one hundred left. So that makes my answer one hundred forty-two. One hundred, four tens here, and two ones.